Guys, welcome. Today I thought about making a tutorial about showing you to work with uh, custom liveries in my team to make them color swappable. Uh, please bear with me, we will use paint.net, we will not use Photoshop. I think guys who use Photoshop uh, have a better idea and understanding usually of the RGB channel which we need. Okay, so first of all, let's choose an example and I think Jackal88 got a beautiful Audi WRT GT um, which looks like like this here in the files so this is what we get right this is the full texture and uh, we cannot swap it in game because it's set because if we want to swap colors in game for a livery for our own livery we need to use the uncommon one which is the Mystic in-game, but we will see that later. So, let's head over. Oh, this is the default. Let's head over to um, Prepared Farts. Okay, as I said, we will do this in Paint.net. And... Alright, I would say we will start... So... We have, let's say, we have prepared a file, all right? This is like our texture. Of course, it's not looking like the original, just for example, being here. So right now, what we have? We have a background, obviously it's black. We have some color area here, another color area, like purplish, a little bit greenish. We have some white inside, so we have some fancy decals. What I want to do right now is the mystery livery that's used in game has four colors. So we need four channels. We have R, G, B and we have the alpha. All right. So the alpha can be either uh, full black or full white. You will see that in a few minutes and we will have decals which will be visible and not color swappable. Okay. So, first of all, let's ignore the decals here. Then, let's say we have white. Well, it looks already pretty white. So, I think that's good, no? Well, you could use play here with a color balance if you want to have white. I usually... Well, uh, where do I have it? Usually either this. Saturation to zero. Lightness full. And then it's white and we will do this for our next channels as well okay let's head over here this is supposed to be the red channel now it's not red yet all right but first of all let's make it white why hmm okay let's put everything else back come on i don't want to see the green here so this is now white and white is good to work with Maybe there's a better way, but I'm used to uh, swap the color balance. I don't know why it says 100 here only. So in PaintNet using that method, I need to use color balance, I think, three times. Because now what we have is red, completely red. So the white, what you see is red. You can see that here down, it's full red, full alpha. But the transparent pixels, which we don't see, they're red too. But they have opacity completely, alright? So they're not visible. So this channel is completely red right now. Good, so the red is finished. Now let's head over to green. Well, that doesn't look green here. So once again, let's make it white first. Because it's just easier to work with, I think. Maybe you have a better way, that's okay. So we make it, you know, if you just make it once green, you know, it's it's kind of a little bit red and a little bit blue and this is not good. So, as you can see, it's still there. So three times I do the color balance and now it is full green. No other color channel is visible. So we have the green one. Now let's head over and make the blue one here. Once again, we make it white. After that, we change the color to blue. 
I know some people work with curves and so, but um, since we want to... Uh, we can't use the curves because we want to merge the white later. Oh wait, what am I doing here? Can't talk and uh, show. Perfect. Since we have to merge the white channel, that's gonna be a problem later if you use curves. So I really prefer to just wrap the color here. Okay. So now we have green, we have red. We ignore white for now because these are the channels that we don't see later. Okay? So we have red, green, blue and the black background because we need to have a blank texture behind everything else. Yeah, that's supposed, you know, in, in Formula 1 games by Codemasters, um, to have a transparent, not visible stuff, it needs to be 0, 0, 0, 0, full opacity, all right? This is like this here. Let me show you here. So we, we go with black color here and opacity completely. So 0 alpha, all right? So right now, we just merge it down. Red to green, green to blue, blue to background. Now it's still visible. And since we don't want to have it visible, because right now, if it's visible, it means it's full alpha. If it's full alpha, there's just one color. We want to have four colors on each channel, one color. So we swap it, everything to transparent. Now you don't see anything anymore. What is it? Well, if you click here to control, you can see that the colors at the left side here is blue, green, black, red. Perfect. Now we have the white. And since I'm not sure if white is really white, I just want to make sure that the background is white too, okay? So the background is opacity white. What we see is trans this is, is full alpha white. And we can merge that down. Okay? If you would use this. You don't have decals, um, so let's say you don't have decals, you want to have visible as non-color swappable, you're pretty much finished here. But if you have decals, so we have the golden here, and we want them to appear, like n not in the any color selection channels, but to be on their original color, which we chose, or whatever we did, we need to remove them from our background now. So what I'm gonna do, usually you know how it is, because it's easier, I make them white. <laughs> and then I just say, okay, whatever, let's say 70%. I haven't found a better way actually, because if you merge them down, uh, make a blank before, it's not going to work anything. What you're supposed to be. Wait, what am I going here? So, okay, we changed the global. All right. So, we have it completely selected. And as you can see, the color we have selected right now is black with full opacity. Because right now we are going into the other channel. This is our background. And we will fill the area which we have now selected. Okay. Now, you're probably much confused because you don't see it anymore. Hmm. Understandable. How can I make it uh, clear for you? Well, let's see. I could show you before we merge it. All right. Let's see. Just for, for, for you know, for visible purpose. What we did right now with the background... We chose the color regions, right? We used the background, right? And then we remove that. So as you can see, we have the red, green and blue channel and invisible blocks. Now, maybe you ask like, why don't we just make it transparent now and swap it back down? It is a good question. Maybe it works. I have tried it a few times, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't work. So I prefer to have it finished before and then uh, remove the decals after, okay? So, um, so the transparency here, once again, 
Okay, put the white back down. Use the decals here. Duration full white. Now I don't know which one are the bad ones. Let's go this. Let's go that. All right. You have seen it, right? Still existing. So this is our M texture. So now you can save it. Um, it's DDS. Okay, let's see. Because I have it already available. Let's say video M file. And save it as BC7 sRGB. I, I prefer BC7 because that's the way to go nowadays. Especially if you have uh, decals that are detailed. It's the best compression. All right. So let's use this. Save the file. So the M file is finished. Is it what we need? Hmm, sure. But since we want some decals to be appearing, you know, when you check the livery, you have D and M and S. If you do not work with special carbon parts or do not work with visible decals that are not color swappable, you pretty much don't need anything else but M, you know? But since we want to work with that, we're gonna do it. So I have prepared a D file. So this is what will be visible, really visible later on, on top of our channels. Well, actually the channels are on top of that, but yeah, we got the order right. Okay, so first of all, what I want to do, I think we don't have to do it because first come, first serve, the, the, the layers are more important. But I want to do it because um, I want to know which parts are later visible. Oh, what am I doing here? Okay, so I'm just selecting the wireframe here and... Uh, no, not global, Jesus Christ. Alright, so... Ba -ba -ba -bum. Swap that, we have a carbon down there. I don't need the wireframe anymore. Thanks, goodbye wireframe. So, as you can see, these are the decals. Mm. Yeah, merge them all down. We have full black transparent layer behind. We have visible decals on top. And this is pretty much... <coughs> sorry. This is pretty much our D file. So you can save this. Uh, what did I say? Video, D file. Safe. Okay, once again, BC7 sRGB. That's the way to go. And since we work with the D file, some special parts to be visible, which are not swept, we will also work with an S file, you know, the specular map. Which one you want to use? Well, it's up to you. But, uh, yeah, this year I prefer to work with the McIntish style. I mean, we have a texture for that already by Mayan, so it's uh, nice to have. Uh, we don't need the wireframe here. But I need to drink something. I'm sorry about this, guys. So un unprofessional! And now I will merge the whole decals together. Um because I want to have them in one color later, you know. I'm not sure if that really has an effect on this kind of livery. But, um, but I'm used to, you know, if, if we could, would make it green, would be usually warm, like, uh, be more like, like matte. But I want to have it a little bit glossy, of course. So I'll make them red. Oh, if anyone is wondering why we have a 4K 4K texture, don't ask me. Uh, Jackal did 4K 4K. Usually you have 4096, but yeah, that's how it is. Okay, we merge it. So we have our background for everything else. We have special background glossy color for, <coughs> sorry, for the decals. And now we are going to save them. Uh, we're gonna do this once again as 
and DDS texture file. But now we are not using sRGB. We're using Linear. I mean, usually when you use the background specular map, you can decrease the overall level. It's fine. So if you choose to have like DXT5, that's fine too. If you choose like DXT1, well, I personally don't prefer that. I mean, sure, the um, the compression is stronger, so there's less video RAM being used. But to be honest, the problem is uh, if you have decals like this, which are detailed, I want to see them even detailed on the specular, you know. So I want to have the best quality, which is still BC7. So linear here. All right. So these are our files now. So let's head over to the livery my team. And uh, I mean, they already exist. Yeah, you know. But anyway, let's try. Maybe I did something wrong here. We will have a laugh. Okay, imported. Ah, looks the same. Perfect. And imported. Looks the same. Perfect. And import it. Perfect. Okay. So, save the file. Start the game. And I think I've forgotten to switch to non-streaming music. That's yeah, gonna be claimed shit. Probably just mute this full sound here. I'm sorry about that. We don't have any more <laughs> background music right now. But uh, since I usually just listen to the EA soundtrack, which is great. Um, you know how it is. You know, copyright, YouTube, claims, music, whatever. I mean, I'm not going to monetize it anyway, but yeah, 